Hi guys, welcome back or hello if you are new. It is time to do our February budget update. I know this is a day late. If you saw my video yesterday, then you know that I decided to put up my plans for after getting out of debt, when I plan getting out of debt, and videos I plan on doing after I pay off my debt um, on this channel, and just a few other little things. So go ahead and check out that video if you didn't yesterday. Um, but today, we are going to do the February budget update. That's right, it is time to see how I'm doing, where I've gone over, because yes, I've gone over in a couple categories, where I've stayed under so I have more money, and if I'm going to pay off that student loan number seven, which means I will only have one more debt. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, let's start with the income. So in week one, I sold something on Facebook so I got a beautiful $5, so that means my total income was $523.17 instead of $480. And in week two, I made nothing extra. Now you will see my income start to go up a little bit. Some weeks it will not be as much as others just because I can only work extra hours if I have extra work to do. Um, so like for example, the week that I'm recording this, I did not have as much to do as I had on week two. So week three will not have as much money as week two. But week two, I got in a lot of hours, so my income was $551.44. Um, my parents' Netflix was paid and my grandparents' Netflix was paid. Giving, I have no gifts. Church, no. Grandparents' Netflix, no, not yet. And other, nothing is going on in other so far. Savings, I did update my emergency fund amount, so with the interest and everything that's grown, we are now up to $1,009.72. Um, it obviously doesn't grow a lot, there's not a lot of interest, but that's not the point of this fund. For those of you don't, that don't know, if you're new to budgeting and having an emergency fund, the goal of an emergency fund is not to create more money to create more income the goal of the emergency fund is to have um, a an amount in this case a thousand dollars as I'm still getting out of debt set aside that can be easily accessed just in case there is an emergency but it's kept separate from my other income uh, or my other money so this is a completely separate account um, but I can access it easily if I need to just in case there's an emergency so I just let the interest kind of do its thing I know some people I've heard take out the interest every month that few cents just so it's kept at exactly a thousand dollars that's just not something I want to do I don't want to have to worry about that so um, as I'm paying off my debt I am just letting it do its thing I'm not touching the account I check it every once in a while for interest and that is it wedding fund I have 470 41 um, in April you will see my hair and makeup come out of this and hopefully this month you will see the alterations come on I am so bad I'm putting off putting on the bridesmaids dress that I ordered because I really wanted to lose weight and I'm just so nervous that it's not going to be as much as I wanted it to be and I know that sounds bad but I had gained some weight before I ordered the dress um, or after I had ordered the dress I had gained a lot of weight just because of stress eating and I'm trying to lose it I'm not trying to lose a crazy amount of weight just enough that I fit into my dress um, and I'm so nervous that I'm not going to fit into my dress and I've paid a pretty good amount on it so for housing my rent and my water has not come out yet my natural gas and my electricity did come out um, for the amounts they were supposed to my internet did come out as well um, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice but this internet just frustrates me because half the time my stuff doesn't even load quickly at all and I know that that's for someone that maybe is used to bad internet that's it may not be a big deal to wait like two five seconds to or two or five seconds to wait for something to load but I just feel like as much as I pay for internet I shouldn't have to wait for things to load every single time I click on something um, so that kind of is awful household maintenance I 
bought a book, you guys. Um, so if you guys follow Dave Ramsey or his Ramsey personalities, you know that there is a book called Business Boutique by Christy Wright. Um, I have looked into starting my own business as a side hustle. Um, I'm not going to go into what it is or what I'd be doing, but um, I would like to do more uh, research into it, looking into it, and so I decided to spend $17.94 and purchase the book. Um, it's not available at my library, and I know that this is a book that I'm going to want to reference um, throughout the process if I decide to go ahead with my business venture. Lawn care, nothing. Pet care, nothing. Now, she will have a heartworm expense coming out um, this month. I actually was supposed to go get it yesterday, but I had to run some other errands and the vet closed before I could go get it. So I'm just kind of hoping that she's okay this weekend and Monday because I won't be able to pick it up Monday and it won't affect anything because she was supposed to have it like five days ago already. Um, but I just, I honestly haven't had the time. I want to look into um, getting like a subscription where it gets delivered to the door because I'm really good at getting stuff when they're due, but I always fail on heartworm. I don't know why. I just, it's something I always forget about. Um, and when the reminder pops up on my calendar, I'm like, oh yeah, I still haven't bought that. So if you're one of those people too, just just letting you know you're not the only one. Okay, so gas, um, I have spent $58.41 so far. Um, there actually is a pretty big charge of like $40 on here. Gas prices have been really great. They've been under $2 lately. So I've been enjoying that. Um, but I had to borrow my brother's car and of course he left it on empty. So I went ahead and filled it up for him. Um, so there's like a $40 charge in here um, that will be going on there. And I don't mind that because I'm doing really well on my gas budget this month. Maintenance. So I went in for an oil change and it was pretty highly suggested that I rotate my tires and have an alignment. And I knew that I needed to rotate my tires, but I had been putting it off. And um, I decided since I already had my car in there, I already had an appointment, the car was already there, um, I already had a backup car available to just go ahead and get the tires rotated, get an alignment, and there was a leak with the, um, like the clamps not being tight enough. Um, so there is a small leak, so they went ahead and tightened everything up as well. Um, so pretty expensive oil change that I wasn't planning on, but again, I just want to keep my car running. So unfortunately, I'm 101.22 off, so let's see, that means I have to put 151.22 towards this this month. So that kind of sucks. My maintenance is going to be zero dollars again, but I have to keep up with my car. And luckily I'm not negative still with the extra income that I've made. So groceries so far, I had, um, I have 52.33 left over and um, I've spent 76.71. Um, a few of these items, like I helped buy my brother groceries here. Um, he recently had some medical stuff and was unable to work for a few weeks. So I went ahead and bought him some groceries and he did not ask you guys, for anyone that's wondering, he does not ask for this stuff, um, but he lives down the street from me and I just want to help him out. And so then there's my Aldi's run for the month, which was under $50. For those of you that are new, my grocery budget is uh, $50. I put $50 into a grocery budget each month. And then whatever I don't spend from the month just rolls over to the next month. So um, I started, excuse me, I started with $79.01 in my bank account and or in this fund in my grocery fund i put fifty dollars in and i've spent 76 74. Um, i'm not planning on spending any more this month um, 
If I do, it's not a big deal. And that's the reason that I can stick to my $50 grocery budget is because I roll over what I don't spend. Initially, I wasn't doing that in the beginning. And while I made it work, to me, it just made sense to do this because some months I don't go to the grocery store at all. And other months I am seeing sales and I'm just piling up groceries in my pantry and in my freezer so I don't have to go to the grocery store the other months. Restaurants, I'm very close. I only have 347 left. As you can see, there are some expensive stuff in here. So this is my normal stuff. And then you can see when I was in San Francisco that things were much more expensive. So that is why my restaurant budget is looking so sad this month. I already know that I'm gonna go over because I have a couple weeks left and I know I'm going out of town again. Um, and I, although I eat meals with my family and stuff like that, I always end up going out at least once um, to grab something. So I know I'm gonna be over a little bit. No reward because I have not paid off my debt. Clothing budget is $50. I'm actually going to take this out just because I'm not planning on buying any clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that away. I did go ahead and get my hair done. That was $90 instead of $100. So that is 10 extra dollars there. Medical, I have not spent anything uh, this month and I'm hoping not to, um, but there could be something coming up. So I've kind of considered turning this into a fund, but I'm just not sure. Um, if you guys have an opinion on making medical a fund, let me know. Over the past, um, I don't know, two or three years of budgeting, um, I've never had this fund uh, set up. And really it hasn't been an issue. I just kind of plan if I know there's some bill coming in, I plan on putting it to that that month. Um, but it could change. So let me know your opinion. I personally right now don't think I need it, but it, in the future I could. So if you think I should just go ahead and make this a fun now, um, just let me know. My phone bill has not come in this month. I'm kind of concerned because I was in San Francisco, I used a lot more than a gig which is what my limit is on my phone bill. And luckily I'm in a group plan. So if one of them didn't use a gig, then I have some wiggle room there because it's like a group, like let's say there's five people and there's five gigs. If I use a gig and they use half a gig, then I could technically use one and a half and it wouldn't cost me any extra. So I'm really hoping that one of them went under um, this month, but we'll find out. Spotify and Hulu hasn't come out. Netflix has. Acorns has. And I had a comment recently about someone wanting to learn more about Acorns. I personally haven't really dug into it. I started it in college, but it is something I'm learning more about. So I have already started an outline and have this video in my video suggestions along with a couple other suggestions that you guys have mentioned and know that I am listening. I am setting them up. I have outlines for them started. I just don't have a plan of when they will specifically go up, but know that they will eventually go up. Know that those will be coming. I just don't have a, a specific time when they will be going up, but I hear you. I know what your suggestions are and they will be coming. Nothing for Amazon Prime, um, so that leaves insurance. So there's nothing in insurance except my car tags this month, and um, I will be getting the car tags towards the end of the month. So that is why they have not been spent yet, is because I actually have to go back home because my car is registered in a different state. Um, because technically it is an, it's the car I had from high school, so it's in my parents' name. So they, I have the tags still in that state because technically it is, it is their car, it's in their name. And it's not something I'm changing because eventually I want to move back to that state and it's just not really been an issue for me. Um, so yeah, my car tags are there. So that leaves debt. Um, my mortgage came out and my student loan uh, is now going to be higher. Let's see what that is. Um, it will now be, yes. Okay, so it is 581.29 and I want you guys to see that my balance 
it right now is 563.41. This is the current balance. Right before I hit film, I updated this number. So as of now, I'm not sure when they add the interest on. So it may be a little higher than this. But as of now, I am going to be able to pay off this debt. And I am excited. Okay, so there you guys go. As you can see, as of right now, we will be paying off. I say we because I group you guys in with uh, my journey. You guys have definitely helped me keep on track with this and be accountable. So we will be paying off student loan number seven and only have one more debt left. I'm so excited that we are getting to this point. I am ready to be done with this debt. Um, it's something that luckily because I've been on this journey pretty much since the beginning of having the debt, um, it's not something that I've had to live with for a long time. I know some people, they live with it for a long time and then they decide to get out of debt. So I know that that's something I haven't had to do, but knowing that it was possible from the time I was in college to be out of debt, um, it's something that I've just, I'm ready. I'm so ready to be done with you guys. I'm ready to move on and start having this I mean, that's a good chunk of money. I'm ready to have that money and invest it and put it towards some new things that I want in my house um, to upgrading some things in my life and getting some uh, things done like my laser eye surgery, which again, if you watched uh, yesterday's video, you would know uh, that I'm planning on doing that with my uh, money after I get out of debt so go ahead and watch that again go ahead and watch that video um, thank you guys to those who have been watching my newer and my older videos going back and seeing how far I've come really um, not just um, showing my personality in my videos not just the quality of my videos but also seeing that some months I wasn't as intense as others. Some months I was super intense. Some months, I don't know. I just thank you guys for going back and seeing the time when I didn't have two debts left and seeing when I had, you know, four or five debts left. And I was still excited, but I just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know how excited I was going to be um, at this point and how ready I would be to be out of debt. So thank you guys for watching. Next week is the new March budget video set up. Um, it's going to be a good budget because we're going to only have one debt left. I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I know it's true. We're already over the amount that is owed, so we are going to have one debt left. I'm ready to start in on it, and I'm ready to do the budget to see how that is going. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe and share with someone that maybe is financially struggling um, or someone that needs a little inspiration to keep on their debt-free journey. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!